I'm Mark Musa from Champion University, and I have nothing to add to what Samson just said, except as the part of the team that created the technology that Samson just referred to, I just want to say that being able to know that he's taking the technology that came out of Stanford, adapted it in ways not only for his own institution, but across the mode in uh, collaboration, to be able to facilitate data sh sharing and data visiting, and to maintain governance over data in ways which we at Stanford never really thought about at the time that we were creating the initial technology, just frankly, these were issues that in the United States don't really hit our radar screen much. It's really very gratifying for us to see how this is working out so well with the Monad project. Probably what's was even better as someone who was involved in creating the technology in the first place, it's sort of the, the feeling that a parent has when you finally realize that your kid is out there in the world making decisions, doing things on his own, screwing up and then figuring out what to do after. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely remarkable to think about the scope of what's going on in Africa right now and the degree to which people who are not working directly with Stanford, who we have not trained directly, but who have trained one another, are able to take this technology and do such wonderful stuff with it. And obviously, the, the team in Leiden has a lot of responsibility here, but what really is most remarkable to me is how folks in Africa recognizing unique problems that are there, caring so much about the ethics of data management and data governance, have been able to do things that I could never imagine doing with the technology. I think it's really a, a tribute to everyone involved in this project. Thank you so much, Mark. And um, yes, this is wonderful to see this um, example of data being born fair. Uh, thanks in great part to the technology of CEDAR.